Hi, I'm CJ Elmer, good TransWest, truck, trailer, RV in Frederick, Colorado. I was just enjoying the tack room on this warm summer day here in Colorado with that Max Air fan that I'll show you here in a little bit. But we appreciate you tuning in. Behind me is a 2019 Cimarron Showstar LX. It is a 10-pin trailer. You can go ahead and take a look at the drawing on this trailer so you can see the specs. This trailer is 25 foot long. It is eight foot wide. It is six four tall. And again, this is an LX model. So the reason why we want to show you this trailer today is this is a 2019, this is a closeout trailer. So if you're in the market for a 10 pin, small animal trailer, give us a call. This is going to be a great, great buy for you right now. Let's go ahead and dive into this trailer. Underneath the gooseneck, you'll notice an electric over hydraulic jack, battery box, and then in that battery box, we actually go ahead and equip our trailers with a battery disconnect. So. If you get to a show, you get home, somebody leaves a light on, you can go in and actually turn that to the off position and it will kill the trailer. That way we're not drawing any power off of this battery. That way you don't go to hook up and have a dead battery and have to hand crank this thing on. Now, with that being said, on these Cimarron's that we go ahead and put this electric over hydraulic system, um, as far as the jack goes, is we do have a manual override on these guys. So what you can actually do is there, we've got this bar kind of stored over here to the side. You can just pull this out and it goes right into the plunger. And basically I can just kind of start hand pumping. And right now this trailer is going up. Now if I need to lower this trailer down here on the side, you'll see that little red knob. A lot of people think that you need to grab it with some pliers, um, but honestly you can just grab it with your fingers, pull out, and turn it back towards the trailer about a quarter a quarter turn and it stays out then at that point I can start hand pumping and it'll start dropping the trailer down now as you hook up to the truck and you're driving down the road it will charge the batteries from the truck itself now the one thing you want to remember with this knob right here is right now we have it in the in the out position to lower this trailer. So if I walk away from this trailer and I come back to it tomorrow morning, more than likely the trailer is going to be the nose is going to be down on the ground because it's actually releasing that pressure. So what I want to do when I'm done with that is I want to take that knob and I'm just going to roll it back towards me and you'll notice it sucks back in. Now it's back into the trailer, it'll stay up. So that's a nice feature on these on these electric over hydraulic jacks on the Cimarron's that we put is you do have that manual pump. So on this trailer we went ahead and we did a five foot front tack room. We put a fold up step so it's a little easier transition coming in and out whether you're carrying tack, feed, anything like that it's also easier for smaller kids to be able to step up into the trailer itself rather than going flat footed on the ground and up and over the ledge there. So, In these, we go ahead, I mean, you've got a lot of area up here in the nose, especially since this trailer is eight foot wide. You got a lot of area to store, um, again, feed, tack, anything like that you want. You'll notice over here in the corner, this box, we went ahead and put a 30 amp package on this. That's your breaker box. You'll see an outlet over there as well. We'll get into a little bit more of that power and why we did that on this trailer when we get to the stall area. We went ahead and put a shelf with a clothes rod. We know you're taking a lot of little miscellaneous items, so it's a good place to store things, hang clothes for the kids to change. These tack rooms are perfect for that when you're at, at a jackpot show or anything like that. Kids can hop in here, change in their show clothes and, and get ready. You have a boot box for just some little miscellaneous storage. Over here on the tack wall, you see these rods. Great place to hang your, your feeders. 
I mentioned it being cooler in here. One, we'll get into the insulated roof when we get back to the stall area that keeps it cooler. But then this tack room also has a max air fan on it. So this max air fan is a two-way fan. So it'll pull air in, it'll pull air out, but just kind of circulate some air, making it feel a little bit nicer in here. The other nice thing on these trailers is the pass-through door going into the stall area. So again, if you're showing off this trailer, you can come in here, prepare feed, get the supplies you need to get hogs, lambs, goats, anything like that ready for the show, and you can step right into that into that stall area. With the LX package, it comes standard with the side ramp, which is great. Again, showing off, jackpotting off this trailer, you've got two access points, two ramps going in and off this trailer. We also go ahead and put an extra gate over the ramp, and then there's an extra gate over the escape door. We'll get to that side of the trailer here in a little bit, but that way you can open this trailer up, get a lot of airflow through here, and again, being able to secure your animals in there. On this trailer, you'll notice the drop windows, that's standard on the LX model. So again, giving a lot of airflow through this trailer. The other nice thing is, is this lower air gap that folds down. So you're not having to wrestle plexiglass, take it in and out. You can leave early when it's cool, and then as it warms up, you can drop this down and actually force the air down to the small animals and out the trailer it goes. Um, but again, also just, just a lot more airflow into this trailer. And then you'll notice this is the polished aluminum slats on the side. Gives it a nice, nice look to this trailer. And this is a newer color that Cimarron's come out with. It's the silver metallic. You get it in the sunlight, you'll see the silver flakes come out of the trailer. Nitrogen filled tires, which is going to help PSI levels from fluctuating drastically, especially here in like Colorado. Really, really cool evenings, really hot days, major temperature changes. It's going to make it to where these PSI levels aren't jumping up and down, causing blowouts. We say it time and time again, not only do you get that benefit, but the vendor that Cimarron uses actually goes ahead and gives you a one year no questions asked warranty on these tires. If you hit a nail, a screw, if it cannot be patched, you take a couple pictures of the codes, you send it into Lion's Head, then a couple days they give you a new tire. You also get two years of roadside assistance. So a lot of families that are on the road, um, going up and down to a lot of shows, sometimes you know that roadside on a really busy highway is it's a really nice feature. You don't have to get out and have kids getting out. You just make a call and somebody will come and change the tire for you. As we get to the back, I have the, this back door kind of winged out because a lot of the, the trailers come standard with welded hinges and grease certs, but this door only goes off the trailer and wings out. So especially right now with a lot of these shows going on where you have to show off the trailer, at Trans West, we go in and we put the wraparound hinges on these rear doors. And that allows it to go around and tuck against the side of the trailer so you can get through very, very easily. They are dual 50-50 rear doors. And then we went ahead and we put dual 50 rear ramps as well. So you can open up one door Drop one ramp, open up one door if you want, or as in this instance, we've got them both opened up here. We talked about this being a 10 pin adjustable. So right now, the entire setup is at a 50-50. But as animals get a little bit bigger, maybe you wanna get to a 60-40 setup and have an alleyway. The nice thing is, is you can unpin, and all you have to do is pull, 
swing it over, it locks into that rubber socket, and then you can pin it back in. Simple as that, we have a 60-40 setup. The other nice thing is you can manipulate each set of pins about any size you want. Notice down low we've got feeder rods on both sides. As we work our way into the trailer a little bit more, I talked about that 30 amp package up front. You'll notice that we have three different outlets in this top rail, and then this track up above. And what you can do with that track is, is this one here's got brackets that roll along this track. So I can get what works best is about a 12 inch Schaefer barn fan. You can actually attach it to this, rotate it, lock it in where you want it, plug into your outlets, and then you've got power back here. So we can create airflow and air movement back here for the animals, uh, especially when you're showing. You know you're not moving down the road and you don't have that natural airflow through the trailer. Dead air on a 95 degree on asphalt is horrible. You get a little airflow through there, makes everybody, yourself, the animals feel a little bit better and a little bit more comfortable. Um, so that's a nice little feature that's that we've done to this trailer. You've got the OptiBright lights. Gives you a lot of coverage in here. We've got some on driver's side, some on passenger side. So it, again, you've got good even coverage with lighting all throughout this trailer. If you wanna take out sections, maybe for, um, for a certain show, you wanna hop a show steer or heifer on here as well, or you just want some bigger pins, Basically, you can break the gates loose and remove this, this post, and I've got a big section here that's completely open. I can take all these pins out by myself in about five minutes, and I can put them back in in about 10 by myself. We were talking a little bit about the roof and how much cooler this trailer is up in that front tack room. Every Cimarron comes standard with this insulated roof. It is a half inch thick reinforced fiberglass roof. It keeps this stall area about 20% cooler than an aluminum sheeted roof. On a really hot day, we're gonna be up in the upper 90s here in Colorado today. On this asphalt, if we walk out and put our hands on this roof, you can put your hand there and hold it. On the aluminum sheeted roofs, you get up there and it'll burn your hand. So it makes a major difference in the stall area. The other thing is, is it will take some substantial hail. So we're not gonna ding up this roof like we would on an aluminum sheeted trailer. We also put some head pads there for you. We put them on the back and also the side ramp. So if you're a little bit taller, getting in and out of these kind of low profile trailers, it's not fun to hit your head on these guys. So that's a nice little thing that we've gone in and done. As we get our, over here to driver's side, we talked about that escape door. And again, also that extra gate. So again, we can create airflow through here. You can keep the trailer opened up, but again, keep the animal secure in the trailer. We also put the fold up step on this side as well, just again, making it easy for you to access the inside of this trailer. But as you can see, these LXs, they are sharp looking trailers, but not only do they look good, they function extremely, extremely well. So again, if you're in the market for one of these show stars, or a pin type setup, give us a call because again, we've got this 2019, there's gonna be some big savings um, for you on a very, very well-equipped trailer. For reference for you on this trailer, our stock number is 5N181292. Again, it is a 2019 Cimarron Showstar LX 10 pin. This is a closeout trailer. So give us a call if you're interested in this one or if you want to discuss any of our other show trailers that we have available, we've got cattle trailers, we've got some more LXs, some bumper pulls, so we've got a wide variety. 
And if you want to dive into the horse trailer side or living quarters side, give us a call. We can help you out there. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Our number is 303-684-3400. You can ask for myself or anybody on the sales team, and we're here to help you out. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.